Hey everyone, this week I'll be showing y'all how to make Cantonese style braised oxtail or in Cantonese we just call it man ngao lam. In a way it's very similar to other braised dishes with some differences in technique and ingredients. So let's get started. First thing we have to do is let this soak in a salt brine overnight so that all the blood will be drawn out of the oxtail. This is kind of similar to the gabitang video I made previously. There'll be a link below if you like to watch that video. We'll drain the water, and then I'm going to place my oxtails in another pot and fill it up with water. We'll bring this up to a boil so we can blanch our oxtails. While we're waiting for our pot to come to a boil, we can chop our veggies and aromatics. I'll be dicing up an onion, and using the rangiri cut for the carrot. To do the rangiri cut, slice your carrot at an angle, then proceed to rotate a bit before repeating the process. These will give you these random angles. For my potatoes, I just cut them up into cubes, generally around the same size. Normally I would add daikon as well, but I didn't have any time to run out to the store to get some, so feel free to add them if you like. For our aromatics, we'll be mincing up some ginger and some garlic cloves. Time to check back on our pot of oxtails. When it comes to a boil, scum should start rising to the surface. We want to skim this off. We'll blanch these oxtails for 5 minutes after it comes to a boil and skimming the scum in the process. Once the time has passed, dump these into a colander to drain it out, then we'll set the oxtails aside. Time to actually start the cooking process. Preheat your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit and then add some oil to a Dutch oven. I'll start to saute the onions until translucent. Add in some black pepper and white pepper as well, and when the onions are translucent, add in your minced up ginger and garlic. Saute these for a minute or two until they're fragrant. Now I'm going to add a Chinese sauce called chu ho or in Cantonese, chu ho zheng. You can find these in Chinese supermarkets and I just use the Lee Kum Kee version. I also add a bit of doban zhang or spicy fermented soybean paste. Once everything is coated and cooked a bit, I'll deglaze the pot with some brandy. Scrape the fond off, cook out the alcohol, and then add in your chicken stock. I'll also add in some gelatin as well for extra body and abrasing liquid. The last spices that we will add is an orange peel, some rock sugar or bing tong in Cantonese, and some star anise. Don't add too much star anise as the flavor can be overpowering. Place back in your oxtails and carrots and let this braise in the oven for around 45 minutes. Once the time has passed, check your oxtails. They should still be a bit tough and not tender enough yet, and if it's at this level, it's time to add in our potatoes. We didn't want to add them too early as the oxtails take longer to cook than the potatoes. The potatoes will end up becoming mush if we added it in the beginning by the time the oxtails are finished. Continue braising this in the oven for another 20 to 30 minutes or until the potatoes are cooked through and the oxtails are tender. The final thing I like to do is fish out the orange peel and the star anise pieces. Now you can skim off the excess fat or you can let the pot cool down, stick it in your fridge, and the next day all the fat will congeal at the top. Unfortunately, once again, my grandparents couldn't wait to eat this, so they decided to just do it themselves and I lost the footage because they never tell me when they do it. To serve though, scoop some into a bowl, top it off some scallions, and you can eat this with rice or heck, you can even put some noodles and use the braising liquid like a soup. If you ever have a day in which you have some available time, I hope you give this a try. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my video, and if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and follow my Instagram at WeCanCooks. Thanks for the support everyone.